Good morning. It is Sunday and the start of another weekly vlog. Um, I have just finished editing the last vlog, which is going to go up tonight. I've decided Sundays is going to be the day for vlogs and then all through the week is going to be when I put up like normal videos. So tonight is going to be the vlog. Monday is going to be... No, what did I decide on? I decided on a schedule and that's the schedule I'm going to stick to. Um, I think it's like Mondays. Yeah, so Sunday is the vlog. Monday is a normal video and Wednesday is a normal video which sounds like a weird schedule but that's what I'm gonna go with because it's just what works for me and that's the days that I find that fit best but I'm currently sat just yeah editing videos watching telly I've like positioned myself right in front of the TV and I'm just getting on with some stuff I know that it's, you shouldn't really work on Sundays but I'm in the mood so I thought I'd do it um yeah I'm waiting for Adrian to give me a call so that he can help me with Premiere because <laughs> I haven't got a clue how to use it. But he currently has issues with his boat because the autopilot's not working or something. So I'm waiting patiently for him to call me and just trying to get on with whatever I can get on with before he does because I currently can't like do anything with videos because I don't have <laughs> I don't know how to export them and that sounds so stupid and I could probably Google it. But he seems to know all these like really quick ways and it's easier if I'm told than if I like watch videos or whatever so I probably should eat something because it's now 12 and I'm not eating anything yet but I'm not I'm just not hungry I don't know what's wrong with me this week like since I've been back I've, my appetite's just gone I think it's maybe because I'm living on coffee again and coffee does fill you up like it reduces your appetite but it's not good I need food and I'm gonna try and get myself as ahead as possible with videos and blog posts and stuff because I like being ahead I like not stressing and I feel like that just takes a weight off my shoulders if everything is kind of running smoothly I'm ahead of myself I'm away with the fairies it gives me longer to edit stuff and you guys don't really need to know this there was a reason I came in here <laughs> I've completely forgotten what the reason was yeah anyway so I'm gonna take a snack for a pretty little thing in a minute I have this outfit that I want to put on Instagram I also needed to do something and I've forgotten what that something was oh yeah I wanted to show you my new shoes so these came from Public Desire the other day and they're part of the Lissy Roddy um, VIPD collection which is kind of like bloggers and YouTubers and stuff that have done collections of Public Desire so these are the shoes they're really really cute they've got this really nice like kind of coppery heel and they're just nice kind of like everyday boots if you're a bit more smart or they're nice if you know you just want to wear something a bit more fancy for a night out or something so they are going on my instagram in probably a couple of days Ugh, i really need to eat something still the last clip i did was at 12 and i said i needed to eat and now it's like half one and i still need to eat but i've been watching real housewives of new jersey or whatever it is for like an hour and a half now um I just need to get stuff done like I've got a to-do list longer than my arm and I don't know what order to do things in because you know when you have loads of stuff that's kind of high priority but you don't know what order to prioritize things so I'm just kind of working down the list in whatever order I feel best morning it's monday and i'm feeling so positive and motivated and everything today i think yesterday like i don't know how to explain it like if you have anxiety or you are like someone who struggles quite a lot with like moods and stuff like i was literally in such a funk and i just couldn't shake it no matter what i did no matter what i tried just couldn't get rid of this mood and yesterday i just woke up and felt so good so positive so happy and it's just quite nice, isn't it, to just wake up and feel like everything, like a weight is lifted and it's just nice. Definitely think it was helped by obviously going to London and seeing Paige and stuff. So for right now, I'm checking my emails quickly because it's half nine, so I'm just going to try and get like the first bulk of morning emails sorted. And then I need to take some pictures and stuff, so I'm going to get on with that in a minute. But feeling good today. Right, I've just been to Morrison's and got some bits. Now I'm heading into Next because I've got a f this like gift card for about a fiver. So I'm going to see if there's anything in there that I want, like basics or anything, and then probably just head home. I still can't get my head around vlogging in public. I don't know what it is, but I've got out the habit of it for so long now that I kind of just can't do it. But I think I need to get back into it because it's something I enjoy. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of me now I'm in England for the next few weeks for the majority. But this wine weighs so much, I can't even tell you. I'm going to give you a little haul when I get in though. Okay, so this is what I got from Morrison's. 
I picked up a... I shouldn't have boiled the kettle right now, should I? Because it's going to be really noisy. So I picked up a fajita kit because I haven't had fajitas in ages and I kind of felt like them and I have all the stuff. Then I got some green vegetable medley with some butter in, so it's like um, asparagus and stuff. I got some corn picnic eggs because these are insane, they're just really yummy for snacking on. I got some avocados which are actually ripe. I got a bottle of wine, so I got the Campo Viejo Tempranillo, it's basically a red wine, it's quite nice. I got some peppers, I got some onions and I got some almond milk. And that is basically my mini shop for the week. So I've just received something. Yes, I'm wearing med sailors. I've just received something that was meant to come before Lovebox, but we had a few complications. It's actually this little Instax camera, which is like an instant camera. Um, so this is what it looks like. I feel like you guys have seen these a million and one times. Everyone owns these kind of things. But this is the Instax Mini 9 and I love it. It came with this little blue spotty strap as well. And I love the color. So I did actually have one of these when we went to South Africa, but it got stolen along with the laptop and stuff, which is really annoying because I love having like little disposable pictures and stuff like I just think they're such a nice touch to like put in your house and just to have because you can't take them more than once and it's just like a really nice memory so we actually do have quite a few Polaroids from when we were in South Africa but since then we haven't and that was like our plan was to um, everywhere we travel, everything we do, that kind of thing. We were going to just Polaroid everything and make sure that we get like a few Polaroids per trip and then we were going to collate them all into like a big board with other pictures and stuff. So I was actually sent that by Instax and they also gave me three packs of film, so I now have 60 pictures worth to take, which I'm really happy about. I'm gonna definitely take it to Barcelona, and I'm actually taking it to a festival in about a month and a half's time. So that's really exciting, and I'm kind of a bit obsessed with that. I think that's probably my favorite thing I've received in the post in quite a while. What else is there to update you on? Not a whole lot, really. I'm just having a kind of potter around day. Yesterday was so productive, and today's like semi-productive. I think weekends just make me more into it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna try and finish writing these posts up and see what I can get done. What are you guys doing? What are you doing down there? Why don't you go down the sofa or something actually comfortable, not just on the kitchen? Mm, fajitas we'll and, this, and avocado wrap. So and a bit of pointless vlog. Gradually... <sighs> I had to run downstairs twice already to get parcels. hype of like thinking of things that I can talk about. Basically what I mean by that is I am currently trying to think up new ways to introduce travel and just kind of lifey stuff back into my channel because as much as I love fashion, oh, I've just reminded myself I need to wipe my dad's iPhone 4 because he needs it back. As much as I love fashion and stuff like it's always good to kind of Oh my god, this wasn't even plugged in. It's always good to branch out. I'm moving, I promise. I'm just having to wipe the iPhone 4 to give it back to my dad because it's taken quite a while to do it. I don't actually know how to wipe an iPhone, but we'll soon find out. Just thought I'd update. I'm currently in the process of thinking of ways that I can improve my channel because YouTube is actually my favourite thing to do. Didn't know that. No, a lot of people don't know that. But I actually love making videos. I love thinking up ideas. I love putting them together. I love creating big dramatic videos so for example obviously the South Africa ones weren't me they were Adrian but I love that kind of video and I love videos that aren't just me sat in front of the camera but I also love videos that are so I'm gonna be doing a video on how I afford to travel um, and I'm also doing someone like friendships things like just general videos like I just want to improve how I do them I don't know what else to say <laughs> that's basically all I wanted to say and I'm moving back over to the sofa now because I've been sat in the desk for quite a while and I just quite like sitting on the sofa sometimes. I also don't know if I've actually managed to wipe this. iPhones aren't that easy to wipe like you'd think. I'm sat in bed watching vlogs and stuff and obviously messaging Paige because I'm always messaging Paige. But she just turned around to me and said baggy instead of naggy in a message was talking about some stuff. So she just sent me this voice note and it just made me laugh so much. Don't be such a baggy bitch. Oi, don't get baggy. <laughs> Getting baggy with it. Na 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 na. 
na 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 came back in with it. <laughs> I need to tell her I put it in the vlog, but it's just hilarious. Oh, I don't even know where it came from. But, yeah, I need to get on with YouTube stuff. I sat down and I was like, right, I'm going to watch a couple of videos, drink some tea, and then get on with it. I haven't got on with it. I'm still watching YouTube videos. <sighs> Good morning, guys. It is about, I think it's probably about 10 past 9. I'm just walking down to the shop because we don't have any milk. Well, we have almond milk, but it keeps curdling, as I said yesterday. And I want my morning cup of coffee, but I can't have it with funny milk. So I'm just taking myself down to the supermarket to go buy some more milk. I'm really disgusting. I haven't even brushed my teeth or done my makeup or anything. I look a bit gross, but I have showered. I'm just really, like, I'm really craving orange juice. I think because for the last week, all I've really drunk is coffee and not water or anything. I just really want something sweet, but I'm gonna get some of that and probably some Cocoa Pops as well, because this is me. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is completely not a haul. I wanted to give you a haul video, but I realised that I'm just completely bombarding you guys. I've got videos planned for the next like month, but I thought I'd just sit down and show you the bits that I've just got from Next and River Island. They've literally just turned up in the post about, I don't know how long ago, but I just went down to the post box like this, carrying everything back up. So I thought I'd just show you what I've got. So the next stuff I did just open. So I got this classic blazer which is like a nice check print really nice because i love i don't really have smart pieces but i love them and i think this would be great to just wear with like a white t-shirt and jeans on some days or i could just like style it up or even just with like a little simple like shift dress or something under basically the kind of piece that you can style up or down and i just really liked it this is 65 pounds then i got these shoes which i know adrian is going to absolutely hate it's just these like grandma style shoes and i just think they're really cute and these are 38 but I kind of love them and I think they're a really nice smart shoe. I like the fact they're flat, I like that they're slingbacks, I just think they're really nice. So the next thing I got is actually a jumpsuit which is for a wedding that we're going to in Barcelona which is why we're actually going to Barcelona and it's just this really nice floral print. I kind of am in love with this. I think it's so beautiful. I love the florals, I love the white, I love this. I know you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding but I feel like because this is floral it's totally acceptable and it's a vow, a vow renewal so I don't know, I think it'll be okay. And this is 65 again. And then the last thing I got is mega casual, very me. And it's just this stripy top, which is kind of really lightweight. This is 18 pounds and I just love it. I think it's really, really sweet. I love the fact the stripes change direction as well. And I love that it's really lightweight because I could just chuck it on with some white jeans or something if I'm going to the airport. And that's the next stuff. But this is the River Island stuff, which I've not actually opened yet. I've just pulled it out of the bag. Um, for the fact of me not flashing my dress. So the first thing is some shoes, and I can't remember for the life of me which shoes I actually picked, but, aha, they were these, which, again, I think Adrian's gonna hate, because he hates these kind of things, but I love them. So it's just these mules, which are bow with the really cute colour. I love them. I kind of love the colour as well. I love the sort of soft colouring, and these are definitely something I'm gonna be wearing a lot. I know I'm going to be wearing them a lot. I love mules at the moment. They've become my new favourite shoe. And those are, how much are they? 65. They're real suede as well, which is perfect. They're really nice. I need to put some protector on them. Then I've got these shorts, which again, I am obsessed with. I think these are so nice. It's just this white skirt with the little pearls on it. Everything at the moment on River Island seems to be like pearl detailing. So I feel like it's going to be quite a big trend for maybe like late summer slash early autumn. And I just think this is so cool. I love it. And this was £35. Really, really cute. Love the little pearl detailing. Um, just to clarify, by the way, all of this stuff was gifted to me. This is not like paid or anything, and this is all stuff I've picked myself. So this is in no way like a paid thing. It's just me being gifted by brands and wanting to share with you what I've got. And I thought I'd tell you the prices because obviously you guys will want to know. So the next thing is a cami, which was 15 and it's just this really simple black cami with the tie shoulders. I don't really own any black camis and I'm not entirely sure why. So I thought I would go ahead and get one. And I really like the fact this is kind of like a low back with the little ties on the shoulders. I don't tend to wear bras with camis either. So having a low back is perfectly fine for me. Um, then we have this, which is a play suit. Oh my God, the pile of stuff here is crazy. <laughs> um, so this play suit is actually a really cute play suit. This is new into River Island and it's... Just really, really sweet. I love the detail at the top and I quite like this whole like floatiness 
at the bottom and I really like the little embroidery, it's really sweet. It is very thin though, it's a lot thinner than I thought it would be so I feel like it must just be a beachy cover up, um, which is fine but might have to only wear this to the beach. And this is 25, oh it says lingerie on it, so is it meant to be to sleep in? Maybe it's meant to be to sleep in. Either way, it's very cute. I really like it, I think it's really really sweet. I love the style of it a lot. And then the last thing is this bag. Okay, let me pull off these little bits so you can actually see it. So this bag is 35 and kind of amazing. So this is the bag. It's just got these two little nudie tassels. It's got the little ring detail, which I feel like is still a trend, but I don't know if it's just still a trend for me or a trend for everyone. I really like it still. And it's just a really cute little shape. It has got the strap as well, so you can wear it over your shoulder or you could just wear it like this. And it's really, really cute. I'm kind of in love with this. I like as well that it's like a structured shape and it's quite big so I can fit my Olympus and stuff into there and it won't like cave in on itself or anything, like it's quite a good size for saying it's so small, really really nice actually. But I'm going to go now because I'm actually meant to be editing videos and stuff and it's currently one o'clock, meaning I've eaten into my time but oh well, <laughs> had to show you stuff. Oh look at that, two coats compared to one coat. I've done quite a bit today, so I've already edited and uploaded and scheduled and everything two videos. So now I've got like other things to film and stuff, but I don't have a backlog because the worst thing is when you've got loads of content but you haven't done anything with it. Like I think that's almost more stressful than, oh my God, why does my forehead look like it's got 400 wrinkles? No, I'm not that old. Maybe it's just my makeup. No, look, what the heck? Oh, maybe it's not as bad as I think. Maybe it's just, I don't know. That's really weird. Why is it doing that? Oh, Jesus, now you're all just gonna be staring at my forehead. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically I'm gonna sit down now and film my how I afford to travel video which I think is going up next Wednesday so the Wednesday after you watch this then I'm also going to do my friendship one which is going to go up in a couple of weeks I don't exactly know when that one's going to go up but everything I'm doing you'll be seeing in due time none of it's stuff that I can't like talk to you about or anything like it's all stuff I'm happy to mention it's just that I don't actually know when things are going up because I basically keep planning things and then finding other things to do that will fit better in that space and then just replacing it so that's why that's why things are a bit iffy in the vlogs. However, I've been talking for three hours, three hours, three minutes now. So I'm gonna go because I need to get this video filmed and I just wanna get it out of the way because it's like a sweat box in here when I shut the windows. So I just wanna film quickly and just get it done. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what needs to happen to film a video? The camera needs to be charged. <laughs> Um, I'm a bit of an idiot. I basically had everything set up ready to go and then um, I plugged the camera in to charge the battery and didn't actually turn it on, so... Whoops. Oh, such an idiot, I don't know how I did that. Right, back to sitting down and doing nothing again, I guess. I just had everything laid out on my bed to pack and I'm just starting to put it into the suitcase and I've actually got more space than I thought. Touch wood, because knowing me, it won't be much space but all my clothes and stuff so this is all my clothes and this is all my shoes and it's all fit like into one half of my suitcase with space so I've still got like a gap here to put like whatever so maybe like my Polaroid can go there or something but like it's just I've, I've got loads of space and I don't know how I've got so much space when I've packed a week's worth of clothes in there like it just seems really strange to me that I have space yeah I'm quite chuffed with myself for managing to fit everything Good morning guys, I'm on the way to the train station, I'm nearly there now, so I thought I'd quickly vlog and let you know what's going on, so my hand is really stuck in this bag. Um, I'm on the way to London today because I have an event with Garnier for, um, I think it's like a new collection, I can't really remember, I read the email but I've just forgotten, so we've got a lunch, which is like a three course one which is going to be really nice. And then I'm meeting Paige, I think, for a little bit. Of course, she's become a regular feature of the vlogs now. And then after that, I'm coming home. So I'm not in London for too long, but it's going to be like a full day. So I'm only there for like three and a half hours, but because it takes so long to get there and back. I wore a leather jacket because it looked cold today and I'm only wearing a cami. And now I've realised it's probably quite a bad move because it's actually very warm. But I suppose I can always take it off, so that's not a problem.
quick catch up with this little one here. She's <laughs> vlogging and I'm doing an Insta story. I know, story. but you started talking. <laughs> I just said to her, I feel like we're not together unless we're doing an Insta story. How sad is that? <laughs> that is very sad. <laughs> we shouldn't admit to that. But um, I finished Garnier, didn't really vlog anything. Then I met this one for a quick like hour coffee and <laughs> We're in our matching jackets, but I've gone for obviously the pink vibes today. <laughs> we're wearing like kind of the same, but different. I've gone like, pageified in my pinks and you've gone jessified. <laughs> in black <laughs> but look we... at my trousers as well <laughs> you're such a little pink thing today I'm a little pink fairy but we've had a good little shoot I think Took ten a very minutes. quick little bang bang done <laughs> um, and my hips don't lie oh my god my nipples coming out um, yeah, Paige's hips don't lie. <laughs> but we're heading off to the tube station now I need to go home, she needs to go to press events yeah and then... I need to sort my fringe out before forehead Mine's really spotty right now. Oh, you're gonna love this. This week's is what vlog. fringe is high. There's a clip guys. where I'm um, yesterday where I was putting makeup on and I kept going like this and then resting my head. And where I just put makeup on, it was making my head like stay like it and it looked really wrinkly. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I'm no. keeping it in just for your Grey entertainment. Grey hairs and wrinkles. <laughs> Jess, I know. Fingers like, are going downhill. They are. Right, on that note, I'm gonna end it here for a minute. <laughs> okay, guys, so I've just got back from London and thought I would show you some of the bits that I was gifted by Garnier because they really kindly gave me a whole bag of goodies and I'm really grateful because Garnier is probably one of my favourite skincare brands so to have products from them is actually really nice because they're kind of things I use anyway like for example I've been using this as you can see it's like half empty I've been using this for a few months I've also got the um, micellar water in the green bottle I think that's because it's sensitive or something I don't know I've got the green one um, I've also got like, loads of other products from them like hair masks and stuff like it's pretty much all I use so it's really nice that I have now got this little bag of goodies that I can also use and everything in here bar one thing is stuff I've not actually tried before so that's really good so the first two things I'm going to show you are actually funnily enough the like extra to this range so the only one I'm missing now is the blue one which is quite funny but these are all toners so it's like the first time Garnier's done toners I think I remember hearing so I've already got the green tea one and this is the soothing rose water and the nourishing honey flower so that's really nice so this one this one's for dry to sensitive dry and sensitive skin and this one's dry to very dry skin so that's really handy especially this one like in summer and stuff um what's this one this one's combination to oily skin, so this is a purifying green tea leaves, which is what I've been using at the moment. Um, then I've also got a baby micellar water, which apparently is only available in Primark at the moment, which is really cool. But I actually love the size of this because this is only 100ml and I always struggle with taking micellar water abroad because I have the 700ml one. And I think this is the perfect size because I can just take this with me when I go travelling and then when I'm at home I can just fill it back up again and take it with me again. So really handy because this is the perfect size bottle and I think I might actually buy another one of the same size just so I can put my toner in there because it's just a really handy thing to have, isn't it? Like it's just such a great little size. Love it. And this micellar water I've used for years, it's my go-to. I absolutely swear by this stuff. So definitely grateful for that one. Going straight in my suitcase, don't you worry. <laughs> Then there is this Skin Active BB Cream, which is BB Nude, Natural Beauty Enhancer, 5-in-1. Um, so it's zero makeup feel, auto adjust to skin tone, blurs imperfections, 24-hour hydration, SPF 20. Really handy. Really looking forward to using that because I'm, I'm not a fan at the moment of like putting heavy things on my face. So this is going to be a good one. Then there's also a UV Sport um, SPF 30 spray. Um, and then the last three things are all part of the same range you guys already know this is literally the only products I've used pretty much for like the whole summer when I was in med sailors because this is the easiest thing to get hold of in Europe um, it's the Garnier ultimate blends in the coconut oil one so this is for dry to frizzy hair and it's the sleek restorer so I've got the shampoo I've got the conditioner and I've also got the ultimate blends mask which I don't know if you guys remember before I went away I actually bought the um, honey one of the mask and I've been using that on my hair every day because it's just so good like I literally use that more than conditioner because it's bringing my hair back to life after so much sea salt but that is everything I got from Garnier so thank you very 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 much to the guys at Garnier for that you will more than likely be hearing about these products over the course of the next couple of weeks because you know I'm going to be trying them out straight away and yeah I literally just got in sat down and now I need to do some vlog stuff I think. I'm going to take my makeup off actually, that was what I intended to do. 
That was why I first sat down. I'm gonna just take makeup off, I've got a coffee, and I'm gonna get on with some vlog stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna get on with that now. <laughs> I told you I wasn't kidding when I said I use a lot of Garnier, guys. I have the Pure Active Scrub that I use every day. This is the Vicella Water I use every day. This is the mask I was talking about. So this is the Intensive Repair Balm. And then this is the Olive um, Ultimate Blend. This is like a personalised one I got in the post a while ago, and I love it. It's a very good shampoo. So that's the end of this week's vlog guys. Obviously I'm filming this on Friday but it's about 3 o'clock. I haven't filmed anything yet and I figured that I've left it on quite a good note. So just wanted to finish it there and just say goodbye to you. Thank you for watching this week's vlog. I'm really, really thankful for all the lovely comments and stuff that I've been getting about the vlogs coming back. Because I was a bit worried about bringing them back. But I'm just very glad that you like them. And next week is going to be a little bit different because I'm in Barcelona for the week. And then back to normal again from then. But yeah, I really hope you liked it. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.